Hey everyone, this is Trevor Bates with PDS Equipment. Just wanted to take a little bit of time to show you all how to change a bottle of ink in a Mamaki printer. Uh, I've got everything laid out to do this. All of these bottles are going to be the same, whether you've got a JFX 200, a 200EX, 6042 Mark II, 7151. Um, these steps are identical in, in all of them. So here's the control panel. I just want to go over what I'm seeing. It's saying ink near end. Um, this means there is a little bit of runtime left. So you can run your machine until ink end appears. We're going to go ahead and change this bottle now. So I'm going to show you all how to release your bottle now. If you look on the right side of your bottles, you're going to see tabs. You're going to want to unlock that tab and lift up. Be careful not to spill any ink. Uh, a lot of times I'll have a lint-free cloth to just put on the cap so I don't spill it. And then I'm gonna take my cap and I'm gonna clean it off really good. Because we are going to transfer this cap to our new bottle. So you notice with the new bottle, we have a new chip. We're gonna reuse that. I'm gonna also take out my old chip. I'm gonna make sure I put this away so I do not get this mixed up with the new chip. First thing I'll do now is I'm going to take off this top. Since this is a 150 bottle, they do come with a white ring in these. You're gonna to wanna to cut these out. Um, what I'll usually do for that is take a blade. Some people do an X. I have noticed issues when doing an X on supply, so I will take it and cut it about three quarters of the way, and then go ahead and cut it all the way off, like so. I'm now going to take my bottle cap and remove it from the old bottle, screw it onto my new bottle. I'm going to screw it until it stops. I'm then gonna take my torque wrench that you received with your machine, and if you look, you've got three grooves on this torque wrench. This bottle cap has three grooves. You've got one on the right, one on the left, and a big one on the back. So I'm gonna set this torque wrench right in those grooves. The next thing I'm gonna do is take this torque wrench, and I'm gonna go arrow to arrow. So I'll usually hit it two or three times, and that's it. Since this is a 150 bottle, we will put the sleeve on. If you're running LH100, LUS 120, you do not have to use these sleeves. This is gonna help to prevent this bottle from collapsing. And it is important. I have seen issues with people not running these sleeves and get supply issues. So be careful not to break these. All right. The next thing is, I'm gonna put my bottle in. So with the bottle going in, this big tab on your cap is gonna to go to the left. And this is for every machine, it's gonna be the same way. I'm gonna drop that in, and then I'm going to lock the bottle. What that's gonna do is fill this tank underneath the bottle. I'm gonna wait around 20 seconds or until I feel it stop filling this tank. I'm then going to take my new chip and enter it in the slot. With that, the chip has a black piece on the bottom and metal gold pieces on the top. The black piece is always going to be facing down. You can see that in the groove. I'm just going to enter that in and now my Red light has gone away on my indicator. Once again, this is Trevor Bates with PDS Equipment. Uh, if y'all need to order ink, you can find that at mamakiinkjet.com, as well as a new torque wrench, maybe bottle caps if you broke them. Um, we appreciate y'all taking time to watch these videos and hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.